Good day to everyone. Today I would like to share how to take online class securely in Google Meet to avoid anonymous and unwanted entries while you are taking online class. There are two steps to do the teachers and two steps to do the students. Let's see how to do that. Before that, kindly subscribe Howex channel and click the bell icon so that you can get the useful videos and the notification. You need to collect your student's email address through Excel or Word format so that these are the students you are going to take the online class. Confirm with your students their email address are correct. Yes. The second step just go to your Gmail account and click Google Apps and click Calendar. If you are taking online class, you need to schedule the online class so that the students can receive the invitation. So this is a secure reason you need to create a calendar event then only you can able to create the class. So this is a Google Calendar. For example, if you have a class on 27th August, just select 27th August. So this is a 27th August and you will find what time you want to take the class. For example, I want to take the class at 10 a.m. Just hit the button 10 a.m. Yes, and the class name will be there. I will give I have given operating system my subject name. And here Tuesday 27, 10 to 11 a.m. And add guest. So this is a major important option. Just hit the button add guest and select your Excel. Copy your student's email address and paste it in guest. Press enter key. Automatically your organizer got it. Your organizer, your name and your student's name will be added here. Yes. And the next important step. Yes. And the next important steps you need to do that here guest permission just hit edit guest permission and remove invite others and see guest list so these are the major important the students cannot invite anyone and they cannot able to see the guest list and they cannot able to see modify event they cannot able to do that so this is a major important point you need to do First, collect your email address and copy your student's email address and remove, invite others and see guest list and click save. Yes, send the invitation, just click send. Automatically, your invitation event will be sent to your students. So this is an easy step. First, you need to collect your email address and second thing, you need to create an event schedule through google calendar and remove invite guest list and see other guest list so this is a major important part for faculty this is students perspective view so students will receive mail from the faculty it will show invitation operating system at 27 august at 10 am yeah so that they can able to see the calendar and the details everything will be available Yes, if the students will click the calendar, they will find the 27th, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. They will have operating system. So the schedule will be there in their email address so that they can able to analyze. You can able to take the attendance according to your attendance schedules. Once you start your online class, the students will enter automatically. You will find the students list here. Yes, so here some students name will be different so we need to ask your students to change their profile name and the profile picture so that they can able to teachers can able to see their face as a profile picture as well as their student name and the number so how to do that ask your students go to their email address and click their picture it will show manage Google account just hit the button and click personal information they can change their name if they have uh, some other name called a different name they have made names they can able to change their first name and last name with their attendance name as well as their register number they can enter so the teachers can able to identify these students from this class 
and next one they need to change their profile picture click here and change the profile picture so using their profile picture as well as their name students can enter means the teachers can know who is the student and their name as well as their register number so we can avoid unwanted entries and anonymous entries to disturb your online class so this is an easy step you can make sure that thanks for watching have a good day